So me and Rob are gonna do a video real quick on servicing your trailers, which is something I've neglected for a long time. The previous trailer I had, I don't even know if I've ever greased it until I came here and we put bearing buddies in it. But now that I have this new trailer and me and Rob have been talking about this stuff, we're gonna go through greasing these real quick because you guys gotta remember how fast you rack up the miles and the hours on your trailer hubs. So let's check it out, guys. So along with what I'm doing down here today at Mocan, I'm picking up this 36 and that 36. One's for me, one's for Blake. I'm gonna run it over to his house because he don't have time to come out here. But I also kind of want to get this old uh, Gravely two-wheel tractor, man. What do you guys think about that? Super old school there. I'm sure it's still get the job done though. All right guys, so I was talking to Rob earlier. Now when it comes to trailers like this, the higher end you're getting in the, tra the trailers, you're gonna have a little bit more maintenance than your regular five by eight trailer. What are two main components you see on trailers that are getting neglected? Definitely wheel bearings are the number one. Uh, we probably get the most calls about, hey, can you fix my wheel bearing? Uh, it's making some noise. Or we've actually had calls, a lot of people out on the highway, can you come fix our trailer? So, the other thing is, is your wiring. Um, where they actually, how they route the wiring, a lot of times they, they chafe and they, they get the the tree, the wiring actually gets rubbed through the, the, the coating. So okay. you get ground issues, things like that. But on this trailer, so your trailer may be a little bit different, so we're gonna show you two different ways of how to take care of your maintenance, your trailer. Um, Andy's trailer has these nice little caps that come off of the outside of the the wheel hub or the hub cap so that way you could get to your bearing buddy now if you do not have bearing buddies on your trailer it is real easy to do go to your local hardware or auto parts store or trailer store take your cap in once you take it off tell them that you want bearing buddies for your trailer it doesn't matter how old it is or how new it is bearing buddies are lifesavers uh, there's a reason they call them bearing buddies um, so basically all it is is you got a rubber cap that goes on the outside of it. It has a grease zerk already in there. And what is on the inside of that is there's a, a plunger that's on a spring. And basically that spring applies pressure to the plunger, which always makes sure that you have grease in your bearings. So, and to grease these up, basically just put your grease zerk on there. And you don't need very many, just you know three or four at a time. Leave the grease in there, it doesn't hurt. And then put your uh, your rubber plug back in. Sometimes a little bit of a booger. Just like that. And then pop your cap back on. How simple is that? Now, if your trailer doesn't have the hub caps on it, you'll have to take, if they've got the solid hub caps without the, the ends that come off, You'll just have to remove your trailer tire and do the same thing. If you are not interested in putting the bearing buddies on your trailer, they're very in a, they're inexpensive really. But if you're interested in actually packing the bearings, you have to take your cap off, take the nut off, take the hub out, take the bearings off, and then uh, basically hand pack them or, or you could buy a packing tool that does it for you. Yeah, and if you guys ask me, I'd rather just pop this top off, hook up to my grease cert, pump some grease, call it a day. Another thing is the type of grease. You definitely want a high temp grease. Um, you, there are different greases out there on the market, but any good high temp grease, a Molly, um, is probably the best that we found. Um, we use a Lucas uh, branded um, grease, but definitely want a high temp grease to for the the bearing temperatures that we'll get in that in that little hub. Um, so that's another good tip. 
And if you're watching this video, this is for my lawn and landscape trailer. So if you're watching this video and you're running boats, you may want to check out marine grade grease, things like that. But there's definitely a lot of different types of greases for every occasion. I think the main reason a lot of this stuff gets neglected is because it's kind of a out of sight, out of mind thing. Yeah, people don't think about it. It's not like getting gas or anything. Is it sealed? I don't have any problems. Haven't. But like I said, I I uh, broke my back LED, cracked the housing, and so I've been doing it because I'm like, man, the minute I don't, I'll start blowing fuses. Okay. And guys, like what I'm saying, it's not like high science maintenance. I just wanted to get the message out there in this video because this is something I've always neglected, whether it's been on my boats and on my small trailers. It's just one of those out of sight, out of mind things. So the main reason I'm making this video is maybe one, you're one of those guys that hasn't done this in a long time, and I'm just able to put it in your memory real quick, man. Check your hubs, check your grease. If you've got bearing buddies, just go ahead and hit them with some grease, guys. So guys, the mower is all serviced up. The hydros are changed. She's in a new condition, good to go for the rest of the time that I need to mow it. But I need to go put these 36s on the trailer. And if you guys are ever in the area, Spring Hill, Kansas, make sure you check out MoCam Power Equipment. That's my dealer. I literally drive an hour to come to this dealer because they are one of the best dealers that I have in my area, in my opinion. They've always been great to me and I really appreciate that, so I always try to return the favor. But like I said, I gotta get these on, get these on here and go. Just a short video on greasing your trailers. Don't blow a trailer out, guys. You need that trailer to last you a long time. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Like always, I will see you in the next one.